Okay, and what are we looking at, Dylan? This is the Safe Trailer Lock. It's the first power tool resistant trailer lock. It's designed to risk angle grinders, sawzalls, even of carbide blades. Yet it can take wax from sledgehammers, crowbars, all those kind of tools. How does it work? So it has this unique radial fin design. So an angle grinder can't penetrate far enough with this, uh, the fins. And it also creates a lot of vibration. It'll tear up discs, leaving them looking like this. Right? And these are some discs from actual testing. Yet the steel is hard enough that you can take a carbide saw blade and it'll it'll tear the carbide right off of it. And then it's the steel, you have to steel's ductile enough, you can whack it the sledge and it will not crack on you. So has the lock picking lawyer head at it yet? He has. We sent him one and we have this unique key design here, right? Where uh, there's no tool on the market that exists to pick this lock. So the lock picking lawyer, we sent it to him and you can see the video on his channel. He actually had to make a tool to pick it. So this actually passed his test? Yes. Yeah, I mean, he, he had to just build a tool to pick it. So who else is going to build a tool to pick it? Nobody. <laughs> and I'll show you what, the way it works is you put, once you take the cap off, you pick, put the key in here, and when you, when you turn it, this whole lock body just drops down, and you can slide it right off like that. Wow. Now, we also have a, uh, a seal on the cam in there, and then we got another seal on here. So this is all waterproof in there, and it's also made out of stainless, so it's never going to corrode on you. What about for like bulldog hitches? Will it fit that? Or? Uh, it fits right now. This is a safe 20. So this is a safe trailer lock. This is our model safe 2516. It fits any of the flat lip couplers. Um, back there we have the safe 2000. That fits your two inch flat lip couplers. Uh, we are working on stuff with other hitches. Um, hopefully next year. But uh, right now these are our two products that uh, fit. You know most of your flat lip couplers like this. And that's by Altor. Altor Locks. Thank you. For about three so, weeks. Uh, okay. Okay. So it is a Kevlar product that you put straight into the into the tire. You can stick your finger in that. He'll wash your finger off. So and how do you put it in the tire? Though? It goes straight in through the valve stem. You can oh, move okay. the valve stem. Put the chuck on. It sits on top of this. Roll it around. Let the air out. I have a calculator that tells you how many ounces per size of the tire. So let's say a 15 inch tire on most trailers. You'll put whatever the calculation is. One ounce, two ounce, three ounce. Oh. Slowly pump that in, put air back in it, put your indicator caps on it saying it's got that product in there. And then what we do is we guarantee, and then, then you drive it, it'll vibrate a little bit for about 8 to 10 miles at 50 to 60 miles an hour. Then it will, let me get this picture. It applies to the tire, the centrifugal force. What if you have like a tractor that doesn't do that kind of speed? That's what it does when it, the tire compromises? I need to ask him that question. I need to ask him that question. So your cost on this product for what about tractors? You can put them yeah. in as long as you wipe your hands off. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. As long as they're not a tractor scout, you put about 50. Oh, take a sledgehammer and it come right off. Does yours? I haven't taken a sledgehammer to it. So okay. What what is this? What are we looking at? Oh yeah. So so Brock products, we do all kinds of different towing products. Uh, we have all your basics, your hitch balls, balls, ball mounts, things of that nature. And then we have some of our new stuff here. This is Warrior Locks, which is much heavier duty locks. Uh, all steel is uh, hardened steel shafts, so they're much higher cut resistant, much higher brake resistant. Uh, they have a great coating on them. It's a uh, uh, red E coat. It's over chrome, so they have extended corrosion protection. Yeah, that one does look better than this cheap one. You know which ones I'm talking about, right? They're yellow. Yeah. The Gorilla Locks yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is probably almost twice the size of the yeah. Gorilla Lock on wow. the shackle there. So what are you saying? The Gorilla Locks can break and shatter? Yeah, you just have with a sledgehammer and they come off. But this is definitely beefier than a Gorilla Lock. Yeah, it probably weighs twice what, oh, yeah, let me what feel the standard one weighs. Oh, yeah. Yep. Bad. I don't know. And this is called what? This is a Warrior Locks? Brock's Brock, Warrior Locks? Brock's Warrior. Brock Products, yeah. Brock Products. And then we also uh, we unveiled here at the show uh, something nobody else has, which is our new fingerprint locks. They're called print locks. So Brock print locks. So if you push your finger here, it codes it off, you can undo it. It's your receiver lock. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Resets, you can put it back on. Wait, it's what? Crazy. It's electronic? Yes, yeah, uh, Different option. But so we're at the PJ booth, and you guys have one trailer that kind of shows all the options out there. For this right? model. For the, and what is this model? It's a CC. What does that mean? It's an equipment trailer, six inch channel equipment trailer. Okay, and what are the different options? Just walk me through this. And I didn't get your first name. John. John, nice to meet you, I'm nice Stan. To meet you. So, so you got the pipe top rail. 
So we got a piece of steel floor with D-ring and all the different lumber options. You'll have Blackwood Pro. That's the standard pine rough oak floor. Here's a stand-up ramp, a heavy duty with a mesh, the three and a half foot monster ramp. And rub rail, which is an option on this one. And then we have an 8K with a 17.5 tire, a 7K axle with a 235.80 16 inch tire here. And a winch. And then a hydraulic monster jack, which all powered by this pump and you have a spare tire and a mount that's about what we got on this one so this is oh, a fork rack there's and this is rack. every rat every option available no. on your no no there's a lot more available this is just kind of all we could get into one unit on one unit yeah what else is new by pj trailers does pj have any new innovations out there right now or we have this year we don't have anything new last year we had a new gooseneck model which we didn't bring this year um but no we didn't bring anything new that new to the show this year all right well hey thanks john much appreciated no problem Bulletproof hitch was to eliminate multiple hitches rolling around in the back of the truck. So in addition to the adjustability that you have with the bulletproof hitch, we've created the pinnel attachment that will eliminate having a pinnel hitch as well. So you simply lower the lunette loop ring over the tune 5 16th ball. It will convert your ball mount drop hitch into a pinnel hitch by sliding this block over the top pin of the ball and securing it with its own pin. This is sold separately as an attachment, but there you go, it's converted your ball mount into a pinto hitch. Jonathan, what do you like Jonathan, nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> no, just yeah. Let's yeah. get a little personal. <laughs> All right, we're gonna check, check out uh, what's new at the Big Tech's booth. Jonathan, will you walk through on this is new for you guys, right? Absolutely, so I'm Jonathan Bradley. I'm the Vice President of Sales for ATW's Pro Grade Division. Uh, that includes Big Tech's trailers. We're here at the 2022 NATDA Trade Show, and we're introducing our all brand new lineup of roll-off dump trailers. Uh, we have multiple models in the lineup. Uh, we have uh, both bumper pull and gooseneck configurations. Uh, we have those available in both seven and 8,000 pound axles. Uh, as you can see, we have a 13 uh, cubic yard uh, bin on the trailer. The bin has some pretty unique features. We have a uh, structural tubing top rail to make sure that that stays rigid and strong. It also comes standard with the tarp shroud and the roll tarp um, standard on the, uh, on the bin. Now, we did a couple different things that the rest of the industry uh, is not doing right now. First thing that you'll notice, we've got a, uh, a come up winch. Now, this winch, unlike most competitors, is actually designed for roll off applications. So, it's going to have a heavier duty cycle time. Um, you can get up to 20 cycles a day on this winch. Uh, it also has a larger uh, capacity, 18,000 pound chassis capacity, as well as uh, thicker cable and a lot of heavier duty uh, components such as the gearing uh, and all the innards as well. So we've actually put a commercial grade rollster type winch on this trailer standard. The other thing that we've done in order to prevent uh, wires getting pinched and crimped and having uh, electrical issues down the road, we put independent uh, power to the winch on the rollster uh, tilt platform instead of trying to run uh, you know, miles worth of cable here to power it from the hoist. So that means you're going to have less electrical issues, less, less problems down the road, which means you can just keep on working. Uh, a couple of other key things that we do on all of our Big Tech's roll off dumps. We have a, an I-beam frame uh, for a lot of durability and strength. We have side steps integrated in so you can uh, get into the, uh, the bin if you need to. Heavy duty fenders that are going to be durable and long lasting. This unit actually here is, uh, is our special color slime green. And slime green? We, slime green, yeah. Like okay. Slimer from Ghostbusters, right? <laughs> okay. And then we also have a hydraulic jack option on this so that you can just push a button when you're unhitching from the truck and you don't have to put a lot of uh, manpower into it. The back of the bin, we'll just take a look at that real quick. 
And Jonathan didn't want to do this. <laughs> so we got stiffeners all down the bend to make sure that it's going to be strong and durable for you. And then we've got double doors here uh, that give you a nice, big, wide open area. The bins are designed to stack. So for uh, customers who want to buy multiple bins, they can stack those and transport those to multiple different uh, job sites as long as they have a place to unload. So it makes that freight affordable uh, and uh, still allow you to get multiple bins if you wanted to. What does a unit like this go for, Jonathan? So depending on the axle configurations, depending on the, uh, the, the uh, options that you add in, uh, somewhere between twenty five and thirty thousand uh, retail price with one bin. With one bin, yeah. And how much would an extra bin be? Extra bin is going to be somewhere around seven or eight, depending on the, the options that you have there as well. Thank you, Jonathan. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you guys. Appreciate and that's it. That's by Big Tex. Yeah, go to BigTexTrailers.com if you have any uh, other questions. You can check out all their product specifications as well as locate your uh, local dealer there. All right, guys. Uh, I am with Nate, and we are with the Hollet trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Nate, you want to just walk me through what we're looking at with this? Sure. So yeah, it's a live floor. Um, you, some people call it a dump trailer, but it does so much more than that because you can unload the pallets and everything with it. We first invented it to deliver sod to Home Depots because we were going in trying to get one or two pallets, and we didn't want to have to take in the semis with the big piggybacks and all that stuff. And so. It's really simple, like you can see it's it's lifted up in the front and then you can run the conveyor belt. If you load it from the back, you can take the pallets wherever you want to on the floor. And then you can also unload it. So once these pallets hit the ground, you just drive your truck forward and the weight of the pallet itself sets it down on the ground real nice like. Okay, so, so. these guys all know I have the Ants trailer. Yeah. What do you do different than the Ants trailer that's a conveyor belt well, system? There's, there's a couple things. This thing, instead of actually stopping at the front, the belt and the chain system go all the way around. So you don't have to stop at one point or start it at another point. Another thing is the generator on the front. We have an electric system on the front that's run by a deep cycle battery. So it's a 12,000 pound winch system. Um, we don't have to start a generator when we get going. This is all run off of that battery and it charges with the truck itself. So you don't have to do anything. You like never that. plug your you never plug this in? You can. You can plug it in at night, but I've had mine on my charge system. If it charges from the truck, I can do ten loads a day without having to charge that battery. And you've got a gauge on the front. So here's your gauge. That's telling you what is running your battery in here with your hydraulics. The hydraulics are for the pumps or the lifts on the side. That tells you where your batteries are at. So you know, so you have an actual indicator right there so you know where you're at. Exactly, yeah, and as long as your RV plug's charged on your truck, that's gonna charge that while you're going down the road. So and, you, and you just leave it hooked up, but you, will your truck have enough juice to run it if the battery's completely uh -huh. depleted? Mm -hmm. it does so you could just run it solely off from your truck all by itself? Yep, you can. But the other thing, we do have a, a 20 plug right here, so if you do, you know, if you've got to use your truck for other stuff, that'll charge your system too. You can plug it in 110 at night. outlet, One it'll charge outlet. that battery up overnight and yep. you're good to go? Yep. So. And this is called the Haul It. Yeah, the Haul It delivery system. And, you're, and the conveyor belt floor goes all the way around on this one. So this will wrote this will just continually go. Yep. Yep. Okay. And what does this go for? You're anywhere. The show special is twenty six nine right now. Is where we're at. So. You're and how do guys find you? You can go to holla.com or call us at four three five two five seven four seven three six. There you go. All right. Dude, I, I recognize you before. Thank you for Thanks, stopping man. by, man. Appreciate it. Things have been good. Hey, my name is Stan. Hi, I'm Sean. Sean, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Can you tell me about your trailer, Sean? So, we build the only trailers in the world that can automatically move low to sea shipping containers. The way this works, it's fully automatic. The driver backs up to a container. They pull out their cell phone. Oh. They can see what's behind them, uh, the, the cameras that are built into the things. They push a few buttons, and the trailer will grab the container, load it on there, two minutes, and away they go. Nobody else in the world builds something that can automatically move a load to sea shipping what? container. Like automatic, automatic. Automatically. Holy cow. So this is the baby one, and this one sells to general contractors, big utility companies, uh, you know, people who want to be able to both move heavy equipment, do it work as a flatbed, it can actually unload itself a pallet, 
but mainly it's designed around moving and loading sea shipping containers. I don't, I don't get it, Sean. Which Can part? You, oh yeah, let's come around. Yeah, walk me around and explain it to me one more time, because what do you mean by automatically? I mean, you don't, a guy does what now? <laughs> you back up to it, you push a button, and it loads it. Quickly. This chance to revolutionize a $9.6 trillion. So this is a truck version. Quickloads has no competition. Okay. It'll show us uh, loading here in a minute. Quickloads is customers. So moving equipment. Unloading itself a pallet. We build them in 40 footers. We build them in 20 footers. The 40 footers can move two 20s, four 10s, whatever you want. Two lift wedges, pick up one end of the container, hooks go in the corner castings, and it pulls the trailer underneath the container. So a guy doesn't get out and... He never has to get out. And it locks it and everything? The whole thing. <laughs> so we are perfectly set up for the autonomous truck business. Because you think about an autonomous truck, that's great, you've moved this thing around, we can actually deliver and pick up loads all by itself. You put us with an autonomous truck, you've changed everything. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm kind of speechless at this point because I've never seen anything like this. So let's go over okay. here, because I want to see this. Are you actually going to activate this thing? I am going to move it a little bit. I can't move it very much. <laughs> obviously in the middle of the show. But the way this would work, you can see the driver, you can see what's going on behind him, that phone, that, that camera. And you can actually switch views between cameras. This particular model only has the one, but we can do up to six different cameras. Okay. So, he backs up to a container, he pushes a button. These lift wedges pick up one side of the corner of the container, six inches. Because all containers have to be standardized. Then the next thing he does is he'll push chains in. And you see those chains there? Yeah. There are two hooks that go into the, these corner castings from underneath. I'm gonna back it up a little bit so you can see them. See inside there, there are two hooks on those chains. And that grabs the container. And once it's all the way on, you push another bu button, and those locks slide into the corner castings. But you don't come out and push a, a button. It's all done. So you do it right there. All from your cell phone. Okay. So and this is called what? I'm sorry, go ahead, Sean. Uh, quick loads. And we build the only automatic trailer that can move sea shipping containers. And so, you, what were you saying before I interrupt? You started to say so. Oh, this particular one, um, the new electric ones have a big solar array on the front. And so, you never have to plug it in, you never have to charge it, you never have to pay any attention to it. it keeps itself topped up. And it has a, this one doesn't, but. This one doesn't have the solar right now. Buy quick loads. Yep. All right, thanks, John. Thank you. And it all started when Dan wanted to get a Lego. Actually, Sean offered Dan a Lego set. Dude, this is the coolest show I've ever been to. No one has ever given me a Lego set of their trailer. It's the coolest thing ever. But this is the other sign's upside down. Yeah, well, oh. why is your sign upside down? Because people constantly stop to tell us our sign's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> so, was it an accident or intentional? No, oh, you did it on <laughs> intentional? Yeah. There you go. Dude, this is funny. 2.4 pounds GVW rating. <laughs> well, if you go to the other side, it has the real quick loads, and on one side, it has the toy quick loads. Oh, <laughs> oh 24,000 pounds GVW. Oh, That's that so is cool. pretty cool. Yeah. That is cool. Oh, nice meeting you guys. Hey, Bye. nice meeting you. Okay. All right, you guys, if you love trailers, you found the right place. I've got a lot more trailer videos coming down the pipeline from this show. And the NATDA show was a show that just kept delivering surprise after surprise. This is a show where all of the companies from all around the globe come to highlight the stuff that they've been secretly working on. So I really hope you enjoyed today's show. And if you have Go show some love to the people that help us get there. And that's Jobber. Jobber is a big sponsor of this channel. And I'm a big supporter of Jobber. I legitimately love their software. If you are a small business owner and you just need something that will help you refine your business, schedule your guys, 
do instant invoicing. Jobber has it all right there without a price that's going to break the bank. They've got introductory programs, intermittent programs, and advanced programs. Whatever you may need, there is a level that will help you get started. So if you're a business owner, go check out Jobber, you guys. But that's what we've got for you on today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I, you guys got to tell me which trailer or which trailer hitch or what you've seen today that really rung your bell. But that's all I got for you on this one. God bless. Go get them, you guys. We'll catch you on another one.